Ada for telling my son I'd love a divorce if it meant taking my wife with me. My son and my wife have been butting heads recently. I don't think she needs the burden. The situation. My son is 19 and a freshman in college. We told him to apply to colleges where he could get merit scholarships. We don't make enough to pay $80,000 a year for college, and we make too much for financial aid at most colleges. He decided to go to an expensive private college to study art history. My wife and I were very upset. He took an intro to psychology course and thinks he knows everything now. He's home for break and he's been snapping at his mom too much. He came to me later and said that I needed a divorce. Boomers like me are miserable because they refuse to divorce when they're unhappy. I'm not even 40. I don't know how he connected my anger at him with my unsatisfaction in my marriage. He said that both my wife and I were miserable in our marriage and we'd be better off apart. I told my son that I'd love a divorce if it meant I'm taking my wife with me. I'd cut ties with everyone else. I didn't tell my son this, but she is the only thing keeping me together. My wife wasn't making my life miserable. Everything else was. My son was upset. He said he was only trying to help me. Ada? NTA. Your son might mean well, but he's crossing some major boundaries here. Going off about your marriage when he barely understands the complexities? Not cool. And wanting to study art history is his choice, but snapping at his mom? Not cool either. You're trying to keep it together, and your wife sounds like she's your rock. It's tough when your kid doesn't get that. Maybe sit him down and explain things calmly. Hopefully, he'll come around. Keep your chin up, man. You got this. I remember my psych class telling us we can't diagnose people, but I guess he doesn't get the memo. He doesn't have the safety net to study art history. He refuses to do a joint major or anything. He's going to be crippled with college debt, and he doesn't realize that six-fig salaries don't drop out of the sky. He just doesn't listen. Wife is literally trying to give him the best shot in life, and he dismisses her because she doesn't understand what he doesn't know. He won't get loans for the full amount of tuition and living expenses. You need to be realistic with him about how much you can contribute and whether he should transfer to a state university with resident tuition. He had his grandma co-sign his first-year loans. We can't have him go through another three years of this. If he wants to be realistic, he should transfer to a state university they have a program where he won't even owe student loans if he gets above a certain GPA and stays in state for five years. Grandma caused this by doing that. She fucked his lie up by co-signing for him. Why did she co-sign a loan for this? What a cruel thing to do. Now they both will have debt until they die. She doesn't really understand what she signed up for. She will when he doesn't make any payments on the loan and she starts receiving the calls from the collectors. Grandma will have plenty of time to think about it when she is working as a Walmart greeter to pay off the loan. Ha ha ha. I love that he called you a boomer when you are actually a millennial. Honestly, I would tell him he should drop psychology because he is truly terrible at it. I highly doubt his professor even said anything remotely like this. I took two psych courses in college, probably came off of TikTok. He had to take it for a requirement. His college has a number of general education requirements. If it was up to him, his schedule would be packed with nothing but art history. He's obsessed with TikTok. He needs to throw a little non-art history in the mix, or he would know you are a millennial, not a baby boomer. Might need some work in math while he's at it. There is an entire generation in between you and the boomers. We're Gen X though, so we basically don't exist. Just like when we were kids, grinning face with sweat. Seriously, my parents are Gen X and the things my mom tells me. You guys would have been better supervised being raised by wolves. I mean, we had commercials every night at dinner time asking parents if they knew where their kids were. They had to be reminded we existed. As a kid, it was pretty awesome. So much freedom. Fellow parent of a 19-year-old also obsessed with TikTok who also apparently knows everything about everything because there was a 10-second video they watched one time. I love my kid but man, they sure are hard to like sometimes. I've made her terrified of bad money choices and debt, so I at least got that lesson in somewhere. I think they should make early retirement an option for those of us who had to parent teenagers during the COVID and social media age. And yeah, psych grad here. In a professional sense, what he did was completely unethical, and any current psych degree slash course slash postdoc should have that built into their first few weeks in course. They literally drum it into you about ethical lines, not going round acting like you can mind read, not diagnosing people, the damn Goldwell rule. 
Your son needs a serious talking to. It's unfortunate that his grandma co-signed. For now, you'll have to just keep in mind she's a grown adult and made that choice. So you can't take the responsibility of worrying about that debt for her. Maybe your son needs some home truths. Tell him how shit you've felt lately. Both of you. And tell him how your wife is saving you on a daily basis. And that if he had any sense at all, he would support you both while you get through this rough patch with your wife's support. Let him know that it was his boomer gran who signed his loan because his millennial father knew he'd be saddled with decades of debt. I'm sorry. Your son sounds insufferable. Put him in his place. Say look my marriage to your mother is no concern of yours. Matter of fact you're causing us both so much stress how about man up and do adult life without our assistance since we need a divorce and we are miserable. Ick why kids put their noses in their grown ass parents business. I don't know either. I didn't invite him into my business and I have no idea where he got the audacity. He has that thing where people get a little knowledge and run with it without ever getting enough knowledge to understand what they don't know. This is exactly it. He went to an expensive college for a year and thinks that makes him smarter than everyone else. Knowledge is knowing something. Wisdom is knowing what to do with it. To think he took a year of school and was suddenly qualified to diagnose the state of your marriage is arrogant at best. I know this is a tough spot for you. It sounds like you didn't raise him to act that way. I am growing more and more concerned with what college is doing to young people. Learning something new doesn't make you an overnight expert. We used to understand that college was where we went to learn how to learn. Right now, it seems like kids think a year in college puts them above 40 years of experience, let alone a degree. I wish you all the best in this situation. He doesn't even have knowledge. First-year college classes don't impart meaningful knowledge. They're just about getting students enough of a grounding to be able to listen to their further professors talk about actual stuff without their eyes glazing over. ATM the kid knows just enough to be an idiot. Not even 40? Sorry, have to join us millennials. I didn't know that. Millennials are currently 28-44-ish years old. You're not even close to a boomer. And even if you were over 44, you'd be Gen X. Boomers are 60 to 78 year olds. With art history, he will be back living with you from 25 to 40. So get used to it. That's what I don't want. Was looking forward to an empty nest. Make that abundantly clear now. Art history is fine but he needs to be strategic about internships throughout college. Or he needs to start mentally preparing himself to get a boring job that pays the bills once he graduates. As for the rest, look, college kids are insufferable. With any luck, he'll grow out of it. But in the meantime, reinforce boundaries against disrespect and don't feel guilty about it. He's gonna have to grow up. It's not fine because he's delusional about it. He will be drowning in debt. Even if he gets a boring job that pays the bills, he will be forever behind. My wife tried to tell him to transfer out of the college, but he refuses. I don't know what he's thinking beyond, art history is cool. Oh feck no. Art history minor here and nope. He will have to go to grad school if he wants to work in the field. I'm a bookseller and editor. I've worked on tons of art history and culture studies books with people who majored in art history and then had to go for advanced degrees in order to land a living wage job or get published. I think that's pretty common for those types of fields. If he doesn't find a paid graduate program, he'd be under even more debt. AP psychology student here. I'm assuming his reasoning is referring to Erickson's stages, where 40s would be in one or between the stages of intimacy versus isolation and generativity versus stagnation, both of which he's just misinterpreting horribly. Tell him he's in the identity versus role confusion stage, because he clearly doesn't know what the fuck he's doing with his life. My parents are separated and actually hate each other, and I still wouldn't say this shit. Yeah. Thanks for letting me know. I had no idea if he was actually referencing something, or he was just pulling it out of his ass. Going to look this up now. I am 37, and my husband is 42. So now we are boomers to the youngins? Couldn't make the old folks happy, and now the young folks hate us too. Swell. At any rate, known ta. Your kid has no idea how a relationship works or likely how to hold one down. He needs to take his opinion and shove it where the sun doesn't shine. Yup. I didn't know everyone who wasn't a teenager was a boomer. If I was a pettier parent I'd point out how he couldn't keep a girlfriend but I won't. You don't have to pay for his art history degree. Or any degree. Find out the cost of a technical course in welding and tell him that's what you'll pay for 
and he can pay his way through college by pipe fitting. You'll both be better off and happier in the long run. I find this hilarious because my best friend took out around 120k in loans to major in art history. Fast forward 12 years, and he had to get a welding certification to teach shop classes for a local high school. I'm not paying for anything, but he got his grandma to co-sign his first year loans. I was going to pay something for his college, but I took that off the table when he wanted to study art history. He could have gotten free college but threw it away because of his obsession with dead guys and their art. NTA. If I had said that to my, actual, boomer parents, I would have gotten smacked upside the head so hard and so fast that my eyeballs wouldn't have stopped rattling around for a week. Or, as my mom used to threaten, I'd have been thrown into next Tuesday. OP. Your son is a dope. I sincerely hope that he feels the full weight of the embarrassment that he is coming from telling you how to conduct your marriage. He deserves to cringe over that. And maybe offer to give him some math help, since he can't tell the generations apart. Oh God, art history? OMG, and a private college? Geez, my ex and I funded our daughter law degree, somewhat, at a top Ivy League, but we make significant money, and she can pay the 50k total borrowed in three years, she makes 200k first year out. But this? Wow. This kid is clueless and you are NTA. Your kid has to pull his head out of his ass. Someone's angling for two Christmases. Well, he's setting himself up for a hard life of failure. I tell him he can choose to do whatever he wants, but call his grandma and tell her no. Tell her how screwed they'll both be if she keeps helping him screw up. Then tell him if this is something he wants, he needs to find his own home to do it in. He's a fool in so many ways he's grown though. You shouldn't have to sit and watch him screw up.